If this question did not arise in the comments yet, let's just tackle it preemptively. How do you export your geometry to use it in other software tools? Currently, my preferred way of exchanging data between Houdini and other tools is via Alembic. And I want to point out that I'm now in Houdini Indie, as a proper Alembic export is only available for paying side effects customers. So at least you need a Houdini Indie version to export Alembic and use that in other software tools. So after we built our node tree with this undulating spheres here, in order to export this as an Alembic, I can just drop down an Alembic ROP which is this one, ROP Alembic Output, ROP standing for Render Operator. And the file output is regarded as rendering in Houdini as well, just rendering geometry to files. And I can just wire this in here. However, before we output everything, I just want to middle mouse on my geometry stream and check which kind of attributes we have in here. So we've got our points position, defining the mesh, got the density we painted, and the CD, the color of the spheres. And in this case, I don't need the density attribute. I just care for the color and the position. So let's delete the density beforehand using an at delete, now let's just delete density from the points here. That's better. Now we're only left with color and the points position. Also, for some engines or some software tools, in order to recognize these points attributes correctly, they need to be on a vertex rather than on a point. So in this case, what we need to do is use an attribute promote to promote our CD, our color, from point to a vertex attribute. So middle mousing on this here reveals we now have only one point attribute with the points position and one vertex attribute called color diffuse. And now in the Alembic output ROP, first I can set my output directory to anything I want. Currently, my Alembic file will be written in the same directory as my project file currently lives in, and it's gonna be called output.abc. Then we might want to set this to render the whole frame range to output an animation. And as this is only one geometry, we don't want to build any hierarchy yet. So all we have to do now is hit save to disk. And you can see this brings up our render progress bar as well as our status window down here saying how far we progressed through the export here. And that's all that's needed to export this geometry to Alembic. So while we're here, let me use the remaining time to point out a few things. You might have noticed that the last video's renders look a bit different, and that's because I'm currently trying and test driving different render engines for my premium course on rendering. And the last images and sequences have been rendered using Octane in this case. I'll attach a scene file where I set this up. If you want to learn more about rendering in general, how to set up different render engines in Houdini, again, premium course on Patreon. On the other hand, I want to point out how to help yourself in Houdini if you're stuck. One of the best features of Houdini is its help system. So for example, for the copy to points node here, what I can do is I can go to this question mark symbol here, click it, wait a bit, and Houdini will open up its help browser. It takes a while to load and then we've got the documentation. Houdini in general is decently documented. Sometimes it's verging on the programmer side of documentation. So if you're used to reading programming language documentation, you might be used to this lingo that they're employing. However, most of the standard nodes and copy to points definitely is a standard node. They are very well documented. And you might have asked yourself, how do I know how to call a parameter on one of those template points here? So copy to points automatically scales or rotates the copies that we pipe in here. And for that, to find out, you go to varying the copies. And in here, you're seeing another link to instancing point attributes. So if you click that, wait a bit, you're being taken to this page here. And there you have a list of attributes that copy to points automatically evaluates when it copies geometry onto those template points here. And we used pscale here. You could use a scale, in this case a vector with three values to non-uniformly scale those spheres. You could use an orientation or an up vector and a normal to orient those spheres. I mean, orienting spheres in this case might not make that much sense, but if you have any geometry that is not a sphere basically. And there are a few more. So if you're interested, read through them. But this help system is available on any node in Houdini and any context in Houdini. So you're seeing this question mark symbol a lot when you're looking at Houdini's interface. And I advise you to use it and use it frequently because although some parts of the documentation are a bit arcane at times, large parts of it are really helpful and sometimes even provide you with example files of how to use a given node or how to use that given node in a more complex setup. If you guys like what we're doing and want to support us, you might want to head over to our Patreon and we'd like to thank all of our patrons, especially Rafik Anadol, Chris Hebert, Important Looking Pirates, Encore VFX, Patrick Fillion, and Gearbox Studio Quebec. Thanks so much, guys.